right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Jared Cannonier and Derek Brunson. So an interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, posturing his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches, Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great ground and pound fighters we've right. ever seen, like Jack or Manson, guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter-patter about it. No. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Both fighters identical in age. Brunson is two inches taller. The reach is the same. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 23 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Wilmington, North Carolina, Derek Bronson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a profession. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Jared the Killer Gorilla Cannonier. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Great. So the fight is now underway on one side of the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Immediately gets the underhook. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, man. That, that, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time grabbing a kick like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It oh, is not good. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yes, sir, it goes into the books as a first-round win by knockout, near-perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit, those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 13 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jared the Killer Gorilla Cannonier. Well, 
there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he...